It is March, and that means the kickoff to Big Ten Conference play. The Huskers host the Fighting Illini, both battling to start on the right note here in Lincoln. Riono doing her work to lead things off for the Illini. Pops this up in to right field and having to track the wind is Felix getting underneath the truck. Bounced on the ground, Andrews with a quick throw over to first and that is two away. You turn those three games into wins, that's a different feel. Driven to deep center field, tracking it down is Brooke Andrews and a one, two, three inning. He came alive in that sophomore campaign, but her junior and senior year, I mean, she's just really, really taking it up a notch. This one, she pops up deep into right field and that will land Husker history for Billy Andrews. The second pitch she sees out of the yard. You called it, Sloan. You said we could literally see history top the Husker record books. I mean, look at this ball just so elevated. And she says, all right, Wind, I'll take a little piece of that. I'll use that to send this out. I mean. Flared right to first and out number one. In the middle of the lineup for Coach Ravel. McQueen has her in an 0-2 count. Only out made in foul territory by Donahue. Now two away. Starting lineup and, and to be able to, to break through that, obviously in this case the injury, but still. Well hit to center field. Turning every direction is Stark. She puts it away. But we main arms right now. Not wanting necessity to dictate their decisions. Line drive picked up by Andrews. And even with a bobble, the strong arm retires Burkmeyer. Four starters. That one bounces through for a base hit into the shallow outfield. And Megan Ward, the first base hit of the game for the Illini to play to that potential for all seven innings in a game. Chopped up the middle, charging in Billy Andrews, and she will retire Carroll, but moving in is his, and vice versa. Reineck grounding to third, Gray sets, throws, and delivers for out number three. One, nothing. The leadoff solo home run from Billy Andrews giving her the all-time program record as Gray also able to get on base with a leadoff home run. Can the senior buckle down now after the leadoff walk to Gray? Popped up and easily underneath it, Sydney Malott. Spins specifically that, that off speed she has. The throw down to second in time. What a cannon from Burke Meyer. Popped up. And underneath it is Addison Carroll. Lead off, able to do something. In. Which Perry praising her for being coachable. Ripped into right fields but out number one, <laughs> including last year, first team all region as well. Hit 397 to lead the Ivy League, but Harness gets the upper hand. And has really looked comfortable and confident in the circle. Up the middle, Billy Andrews right there, ranging to make this stop in the Husker defense and pitching, working hand in hand, holding the Illini at zero. Depth in the circle per se, but you just have to be able to execute and you have to be able to manage the ups and downs that inevitably come with a long season like we have.
Pineda hits this one far into left field and brought in by Meade. Had a sprint to the spot to reel it in. Surpasses Taylor Edwards' first all time and sends this one deep again, but just two short starts brings it in. We head and having to really lock down so far a strong lineup in the lineup. And she issues a leadoff walk to bring up the number three. Your defense to get a first out right now. Malott drops it down, is tagged out. He's able to execute the sacrifice. She's got a lot of pop, has a lot of run producing potential right there in the cleanup, in the cleanup spot. Brookmeyer not able to get the full piece of it. And Kaneda tracks it down. Very easy for that ball with the way it's spinning to get away from her and allow the Illini runner to advance. Lined into left field and after a leadoff walk harness set. Football players often use right around their waist to stick their hands inside. I haven't seen one of those yet, but a smart move. Lined up the middle, Brooke Andrews. That has been quite a one-two punch this season. Redwell earns a walk, two on for the first time for the Huskers. Warming up in the bullpen, McQueen in a jam. Riona racing and makes the catch. I'm really hitting bunches with the best of them. Gray bounced to second, could it be two? What a recovery by the Illini in a gut check moment. And facing Addison Carroll, one pitch, one out. And that's the sum of their offense so far. Just wanting to see some different things happen for her team. This will help driven deep to center field, but it is Brooke Andrews right there to put it away. Box. And there's out number three, another ground ball to first base, a quick top of the fifth as well. And it was fun hearing from Coach Ravel as Bacon earns the walk. I think she thought she was hit. Rama to it. Bunt dropped down. The throw to first. And the sacrifice successful for Alina Felix getting the drop down. That was an excellent job. Handed hitters just because of that lefty lefty matchup in her lineup. Do we see Smetter get the nod today? McQueen. Retires her looking. Oh, but just that, that was a great executed pitch. Canada puts it on the ground. And Donahue steps on first. McQueen coming up big time in time. Settle in, come back there after falling behind 3 0. This, this is an opportunity, though, for the Illini to get some momentum going offensively. Starks, a lead off walk. And just as in potential. Coming up in a huge moment, no doubter out of the park. A two run shot to change this game in Lincoln. We talked about the ability to take the momentum from the defensive side of the ball and this pitch from Harness just stays over too much white against a hitter like Riono. She is going to capitalize on that type of mistake. You fall behind, you give up the walk to Starks, but that ball just has to be more on a corner. Riono is too good. This is nothing new, Sammy, but I do feel like the last couple of years, there is this emphasis on number nine captain right now. 
for this pitching staff. And she immediately issues a single. Sydney Malott, the top of this order, delivering. Now comes the power bat of Paige Burkmeyer. That gets away. The runners will advance. The throw not in time from Breadwell. Now two in scoring position for the Illini. This a lead late and just let it slip away. Can they buckle down right now and execute? Burkmeyer will have that land. One runner will score, and the run scoring continues for the Alina. Berkmeyer gets jammed on this and is still able to muscle this to the middle of the outfield. And Meade all the way knows no matter what, even if that ball is caught with the dive, she's able to score easily. And Mean gets a good piece of it driven to deep center field. It's Brooke Andrews over her shoulder making the catch. And runners at the corners. Extend the at-bats to try to get a pitch that they like. Kenny gets her to swing through. And that's got to feel great. A number three was going to be the definitive number two last year and is now just called into a bigger role. Lofted into center field. Brooke Andrews reels it in, but the damage is done. The Andrews drilled to center field and laying out is Starks to make the out. Advantage of, of some wind, some pop-ups, and just feed the defense. Off speed in there for strike three. Just a gnarly pitch to retire Brooke. Gift and uh, the Illini have taken full advantage. Bradwell won't drop. Starks with two banner plays in center field in this inning. Finally clicking all together and keeping it going to start the second, a uh, seventh rather, with Donahue dropping in a base hit. Starks laying down the bunch. He's got the speed to beat it out. Does not that time, but advances Donahue. This is everything. I like this move. Drilled into the shallow outfield, and it somehow lands in the glove of Neal and then doubled up. Caitlin Neal comes in cold and somehow pulls that out of her pocket. Career home runs in program history in the process with 55, but they will start off with a bland base hit here in the bottom of the seventh. This is a veteran at bat right now. But some momentum trying to start conference play on the right foot. Gray, she's got pop in her bat and sends it out for a two run home run. We are tied at Bowling Stadium. How about that? Sydney Gray just absolutely laces this ball. She has been so good when she's on this year. An Omaha native already career highs across the board in her second season. Chops this one and she will reach base. has struggled at the plate this year, but has plenty of pop in that veteran bat. This time she'll lay down a bunt, advance Maleka, and does her job. If you're Kaylin Kinney, all you're thinking about is, can I put this ball in play? Can I try to advance that runner? Three straight pitches and a strikeout for McQueen making quick work.
Pineda right to Ward. The inning is over, and we've got extras here in Lincoln. The inclined person, it was so nerdy to go over. Is this one lifted deep to center field and at the wall? Brooke Andrews making the grab. Full advantage, a, an athlete that originally was more of a role player and has really become a veteran mainstay. Out made right into the glove of very different going into conference play. Blasted to deep left field and a home run. Smacking the foul pole. It is Paige Berkmeyer showing off the bat. And with two outs, no less. We talked about the power that Berkmeyer has. Low pitch inside, but too far over the plate. She's able to go down and just launch this thing. This is the game of the long ball. Tapped up the middle, charging in is Andrews. And she makes the throw. Pick off there. It, I know it was a ball, but, but there was enough of it over the plate. And there it is. Four straight balls. I, I think that's the smart, the smart call. You're playing the odds right now. McQueen with the strikeout. That gets away from Berkmeyer. Billy Andrews speeding and then putting the brakes on, staying at second base. But Andrews enough to push this score to a tied game. Bradwell finds the gap, and Billy Andrews will score. Gets all the way to the warning track and an RBI double to tie this contest. The junior coming up clutch. She said, I'll get this ball to the grass. Don't worry. Ninth. Land up the middle. Coming around is Bradwell. Not in time. The freshman with her second walk-off this season. How about the freshman, Sammy Bland? Coach Ravel raves about her and how she stepped up in the absence of Squire. She has been so clutch coming into her own. A fantastic finish for the Huskers. Tie the game in the seventh and take it in the eighth. 1-0 in Big Ten play.